In this step-by-step -step guide, we'll walk you through the process of installing the Give Energy EV charger. Whether you're an approved installer or a qualified electrician just discovering the Give Energy range, our comprehensive instructions will ensure a smooth and successful installation, providing you with the power to go the distance. We'll cover everything from mounting your system to the wall to configuring it to your Give Energy app. By the end of this video, you will have the knowledge and confidence to install your Give Energy EV charger like a pro. Included within the box, you'll find your Give Energy EV charger, mounting bracket and holster, two RFID tags for offline use, all relevant fixings and fittings, and your Torx key, located within the Ziploc Certificate of Approval bag. The first thing that needs to be done is to check the network strength in the location where your charger is going to be installed. A Wi-Fi or LAN connection is mandatory in order to complete the commission. If hardwiring is not possible, consider using a third-party Wi-Fi extender to strengthen the signal. Next, you'll need to mount the bracket. Place the wall mounting bracket horizontally onto the wall and mark the position of the bracket holes. Drill three holes at the marked positions at the appropriate depth for the surface you are attaching it to. Fix the mounting bracket to the wall using the relevant fixings. Use the provided tool to unscrew the bottom cover. The security screw must be kept safe for later installation. Mount the charger onto the mounting bracket and again, mark up for the relevant fixings to be fitted. Drill two holes as per the installation instruction. If using the rear entry point, make a slit in the gland to be able to feed your cabling through. If not, use the stuffing glands located at the bottom of the charger. Feed all your relevant cabling through into position, ready to be wired into the charger. Once through, secure the charger to the wall using the relevant fixings necessary. After the charger is secure, you're ready to start wiring. Pass the 32 amp power cable through the rubber grommet and remove 12 millimeters of insulation from the conductor. And where possible, fit 12 millimeter boot lace ferrules with the correct crimping tool. Insert the wire into the corresponding terminal. Tighten the screws to ensure there is a stable connection. It's at this point too that you secure any LAN connections or RS-485 connections from your grid meter or inverter. Once connected, test the charger. Turn on the main supply and wait until you hear your charger beeping. One beep means the system cannot detect a meter, two means it can. If necessary, attach and fit the Give Energy EV Charger holster in close proximity to your customer's EV charger. This isn't a necessity and should be fitted at your customer's discretion. Once you're happy that the charger is connected correctly, ensure that the tamper switch is not blocked and can be securely pressed down into position. The tamper-proof switch is included to comply with the smart charging regulations and must be engaged. If the tamper switch disengages, the charger will stop charging and the user will be notified of any tampering. Fix the sealing cover to the charger with the previously removed screws. Attach the outer cover to the charger, ensuring that it locked into place. Secure the outer cover with the previously removed security torque screw. Lastly, it's time to commission the system. Load up your Give Energy app and select the Add an EV Charger option. Follow the steps as shown on screen. Once completed, confirm the customer is clear on how to utilize the app. And just like that, your Give Energy EV charger is fitted and ready to use by your customer.